Creep night, sure to send a chill down your spine. Welcome to Creep Night. In this episode, we're gonna learn about Jennifer, the shrinking girl. Jennifer was so tiny that her friends loved to pick her up. They would prance around with her everywhere they would go. This isn't funny, guys. Put me down. <laughs> you know you like to be picked up. No, I don't. They never listened to Jennifer. Not one bit. One day, she got so fed up that she looked in the mirror and she wished that she would be so tall. And maybe it was that kind of brainstorming that made her go to Madame Cecile. Jennifer walked into Madame Cecile's office, or what we like to call witchery. Can you make me tall? <laughs> My dear, I can make you do anything. I am the greatest witch of them all. I am Madame Cecile. I can cast any spell anywhere anytime and you desire to be tall well here i will give you something but in return you must promise me promise me something what do you want what do i want what could i want hmm, let me think about it for a second what could I want from a little girl like you? Give me a lock of your hair. A lock of my hair? Yes, a lock of your hair if you desire to be tall. Jennifer gave her a lock of her hair and the witch went to the potion and she decided she would make this potion and when she did she handed Jennifer a green bottle now little dear you will only put three drops on your head and each day you will grow Jennifer decided she would try out this potion at home and when she got home, she went straight to the bathroom. She added the three drops, just like Cecile told her. And she waited until morning. At first, nothing happened to be expected. All witches are crooks. But in the middle of eating her lunch, she noticed her hands were taller. She stood up. She seemed taller. Some people seemed to even notice that she was taller and she was harder to pick up. The next day, she grew a little bit more taller. And by the third day, she was so tall that she could barely stand in her living room. So miserable, she went back to Madame Cecile. This is not what I asked for. Oh dear, didn't you wish to be tall? Didn't you want to be tall? Did I not grant your little wish? Well, yes, I wanted to be tall, but I didn't want to be this tall. Oh dear, it seems like the potion may have worked a little too quick. Well, I have a solution to that little problem. At first, Jennifer was a little hesitant, but seeing her dire situation, she agreed to the witch's terms. Now this time, little one, you must promise me something. Is it another lock of my hair? No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> How silly that would be. You must give me one of your eyelashes. An eyelash? Why an eyelash? Do you wish to be a little shorter? 
and not so tall. Not so tall that you get stuck in your living room. Well, I can reverse a little bit of the spell, but all it's gonna take is a measly little eyelash. You won't even miss it at all. Reluctantly, Jennifer gave her an eyelash. The witch went back to making the potion. This time, the potion was purple, and she gave it to Jennifer. Now, Jennifer, remember, dear, only three drops. And when Jennifer got home, she went to the bathroom once again, and she poured three drops on her head. This time, the spell worked immediately. She started shrinking. And at first, it was only by an inch. The next day, by another inch. By the third day, she couldn't even reach her sink in the bathroom. So miserable, she went back to Madame Cecile. This is not what I asked for. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh my. What to do in this unthinkable situation? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because, dear, there's nothing I can do about your condition. <laughs> and do you know what that means? You'll keep shrinking, and pretty soon you will be here with me. <laughs> Jennifer started to cry, but it only made her shrink more and more, almost to the point she was the size of a rat. And when that happened, Madame Cecile picked her up and put her in a cage right next to her potions. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Creep Night, sponsored by Pizarro. <laughs> <laughs>